Hello guys and welcome to the video. In this video I will show you how to compress your videos without losing much quality. This is really helpful if you upload a videos to YouTube very often and you don't have the best internet but you want to upload your videos faster, this will really speed up your process. Or if you want to upload or send a video to a client and they want it really fast but your file size is too big, I think that this is the right thing for you. So let's jump on the PC so I can show you how to do it. Now that we are on a PC, go to your internet browser and type handbrake or handbrake download. I will put this link for you down in the description below so you know it's the right one. Click on the first link here and now you need to choose your operating system. I have Windows 10 64 bit so just click on your operating system and uh, it will uh, automatically start downloading. When it's done, just click on it, click yes. You can just close this here and it's really easy to install just go next next and here you can choose where you want to save the program i will just leave it on default here and just click install and when it's done just click finish here we have our program now just double click to open it and the first thing here is to drop a file uh, so i i will just use one of my videos here but before I drop the video onto the handbrake, I will just check uh, the file size of the video. So here we have 1.01 uh, uh, gigabytes, so let's say 1 gigabyte. And we will just drag and drop this video onto handbrake. Now we will scan it just a little bit, this should be fast. And first of all, we will give you just a preview of your video here. Okay, first choose where you want to save your video. So click browse here, I will uh, choose desktop here and just click save. Uh, now on format, always choose mp4. Don't choose these other two formats, always make sure that it's on mp4. Check this web optimize and uncheck this align and we start. Now go to dimensions. So dimensions is basically the resolution of your video. So my original video is in 4K, but I will compress my video to 1080p. So I have here the width and the height, it's in 1080p. For anamorphic, always choose loose, and for modus, leave it on 2. Cropping, always leave it on automatic. Go to filters, and don't touch anything in filters, just go to the video which is the most important tab. So here under video codec, always choose H264. If it's anything else, just choose this one, H264. Frame rates, if you know the frame rates of your original video, just put uh, what frame rate your video is. If not, just click same as source and that will automatically uh, match the frame rate from your original video. Now go to encoder preset. I'm always putting this one on medium. Uh, you can put it all the way to the left and you will have the smallest file size but also the lowest quality of your video. So I recommend you to always put it somewhere on medium. Encoder tune, leave it on none. Encoder profile instead of main, put it on auto. And encoder level instead of four, put it on auto as well. Quality, always choose this constant quality. If it's anything else like this average bitrate, uh, make sure that it's on constant quality. So this slider works uh, the same as this slider here for the encoder preset. So if you put the slider all the way to the left, you will have the smallest file size, but also the uh, lowest uh, quality of your video. So uh, always put it somewhere around uh, maybe 24 or 22. I'm always putting it on 22 and that's it. And the one last thing we need to do is to go to audio and here under bitrate and instead of 160 put it on 320 and that's it. Uh, and when you're done with all your settings, uh, you can just go and click on start encode here and this will take a couple of minutes or maybe more or less depending on your video and I will be back when this is over. Now let's look at the file sizes before and after handbrake. This is the original video, let's go to properties here and the original video is 1 gigabyte. Now let's go to the compressed video, properties and here we have 58 megabytes. That's a huge difference there. But now let's look at the quality which is the most important thing. This is the video before handbrake. And this is the video after handbrake. 
You can see that we lost a little bit of quality, but that's mostly because we compressed our video from 4K to 1080p. If it was from 1080p to 1080p, I think that the difference will not be that noticeable. I hope that this video was helpful for some of you and if it was, like the video and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. And I will see you next time.